Hi, this is one of the videos in this series where I'm going to test and review the product from uh, Bleakbox. Today I'm going to try to review and test the uh, proxy dimmer. Um, this is a uh, dimmer that is quite interesting because this can recognize your hand even between uh, surfaces. So for example, I can have this uh, behind a, a cupboard door like this mounted on the back side and I can just hold my hand over the area where the proxy dimmer is placed and it will dim or turn on and off uh, lights for example LED strips um, I can see on the unit that it supports uh, 12 to 24 watts and uh, maximum uh, 6 amps so that means this is very good for LED strips um, so let's have a closer look on the product so this is what the um, the uh, dimmer looks like um, it has a nice uh, logo here explanation here so that means you have plus you have minus and you have output for your strip here it's very thin actually um, and as I told you before it had some tape here um, so that you can mount it on on surface um, it can either be um, be wood it can be uh, glass or stone um, I read that in the manual I have not tested it my myself but we're gonna see through a um, a uh, cabin uh, door in just uh, a few seconds but it seems pretty nice seems very robust uh, so um, so that's good. The connectors here for the the wiring seems uh, seems quite good. Uh, it has an LED here. I suppose that would light at some point. We will see that once we power it on. So I have now connected the uh, wires. Um, Plus here, minus here, and output for the LED strip, and the LED strip is also connected uh, to plus here. So, um, so let's try to um, power it on and see what happens. Oh, now the light came in. And the LED strip was powered on. Okay, it seems actually to recognize my hand every time it comes. Uh, and you see, it will dim and it will dim down. So quite, quite an easy setup, actually. So I've now mounted the... Uh proxy dimmer behind uh, the cap and the uh, door. The LED strip is here. So that's the one we have uh, connected before and we want to see if we can turn that on and off. So let's try it. And yeah, you see, it recognizes my hand behind, uh, behind the door and I believe I can dim it here. So yeah, it seems to work pretty good, but uh, let's try a thicker surface. As you can see here, I've now mounted the proxy dimmer on the back side. I have the LED strip here, and I can turn it on and off, and I can dim. So it works. So. The proxy dimmer. I um, tried it on different surfaces, and it seems to work uh, work quite good. And I guess now it's a bit confused because I'm holding it as well. But um, I read in the manual that it can fit uh, uh, or recognize your hand through surfaces up to seven centimeters. Um, and that's quite quite a lot actually um, 
So um, I don't have a surface that is seven centimeters and I'm not able to, to test that. But the surfaces that I tested it on, it worked. Uh, the dimmer is a standalone product. So you are not able to control it from the app or set up um, timers and stuff like that. I know that Bleedbox is working on a product that can do that. So in the future, I believe that we will see a proxy dimmer that is able to connect to the app. If you want to control your LED strips from the app today, then they have a, uh, another product called the uh, V-Light Box. Uh, this product here can connect to the app and you're able to control your LED lights from the app. But right now, if you want a standalone product, uh, which has quite cool uh, controls, you just have to have your hand over to, uh, to turn it on and off. Then the proxy dimmer is the product for you. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. And if you like for more of these to come, please subscribe to the channel. I'll make uh, more reviews from, uh, of the products of, I got from Bleebox and I will make reviews of other products as well. So please subscribe to the channel.